So there's a forecast for the west coast to be windy today. Medan was supposed to be nothing, it's actually there is a little bit of wind, but whatever, we're gonna can that and uh, go to the west coast. There's a good wind and waves forecast, starboard tack, so maybe not <laughs> my favorite side, but uh, always good to, to do something different and yeah, let's see how it is when we get there. Holy fuck, some friends are there already. <laughs> and it's howling, I think 40 knots plus. But um, maybe we'll go to another place, a little secret spot and uh, see how it is there. Maybe it should be a little bit lighter and a little bit bigger waves. Poor guy must be getting blown out. I mean, it's like 40 knots up here. We're in, uh, up top in the mountains. It's probably 40, 50 knots. The guy's on a scooter. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Excited. Didn't sail this spot yet with, um, with wind from the right. We sailed a few years ago with wind from the left like a spot literally like 200 meters down the road up the road and that was fucking epic like epic 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 the most epic Tenerife session ever yeah I think it's looking good I'm gonna rig and go jump off this rock and to come in is a little bit trickier because you need to come in on a wave and go in this little beach which is not really a beach. So everybody's in Las Americas, down the coast, and there it's about 45 knots and maybe waist high waves. So I think there is a chance we, we're gonna score a nice lonely session. Unfortunately, the container with my new waveboard, FMX Diablo waveboard got stuck. So you're gonna have to make sure that somehow we don't see the board I use. That one might have been one of the worst ideas I've ever had. I'm always way too positive, man. I, I, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's side shore. It's a steady wind, good waves, about logo high, really playful. In reality, it was from perfect side shore to like almost straight onshore within, we sailed maybe 40 minutes or something. And then the tide, I think now is about to bottom out. And on one wave, I swear there was a rock pretty much on the water surface. I had to jump it. Can I have a word? Subscribe to the channel. Johnny subscribed and he's in Maui windsurfing. Sarah didn't and her kids listened to Despacito on repeat. <laughs> so, you know, like the waves clean out on the inside. So you have actually a nice face and whatever, but it was fucking shallow. Ah, yeah, and then the wind was from 15 to 35, 40 knots like some gusts of flying water, rain squalls, and then on the outside, I saw at least one fin. I'm not gonna say it was a shark, but this place is the most sharky in the whole island, so you kind of have that in the back of your mind. So with all that, I don't know, it's just a bit too hectic, too wild to, to feel comfortable in that situation. We're gonna now go to Las Americas where everybody is and uh, it's, yeah, waves are smaller and it's like 40 knots. And uh, yeah, I don't know who had this brilliant idea. Yeah, let's go sail in this secret spot. Let's not go sailing where everybody is. <laughs> so all of that, but he liked it. <laughs> Fucking masochist. <laughs> Mateo is out with 3.5, my smallest is 4.0, so 
I guess I have no choice. There is wind, there's waves, so gotta go. I'm kind of worried if I'll be able to hang on to a 4.0. <laughs> Yeah, it is brand new, look at it. Obviously, being the fat, lazy fucker that I am, I don't own a 340, because I would never use it anyway, so on the 370, the 4 row, <laughs> I have a nice little gap to make it a little bit more twitchy and unstable. Also, to rig it higher, so you have a bit more power in between the waves, you know? Just in case you bottom turn and the wave takes your wind, so... <laughs> I said the F word quite a few times today already, so I'm not gonna swear anymore, but it was pretty, pretty windy. Uh, pretty violent, like, I had a couple, like, just the gusts, you know? Like, you, you, you go up in the air or you try to do a turn and it hits you and it's just like 45, 50 knots. Almost went on the ropes, <laughs> again, but... Yeah, it was worth to come anyway, it was, you know, wind, waves, warm, nothing to complain, just my biceps are hurting from the, <laughs> from the pilot gas.